Hi guys, Drew Coleman here. We are doing the tour of Remodeled Homes today, and I brought a very special guest, Megan Wallace, who is new to our team. So everyone, meet Megan Wallace. Hey guys, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> so Megan is a Portland area native and has a background in news. Yeah, and I'm really excited to do this remodel tour with Drew because this neighborhood I'm really familiar with here in Lake Oswego. I've driven these streets a lot. It's fun to see a house that you recognize for so many years <laughs> right. that's now kind of gotten a facelift. I'm excited to see this one because this is an opportunity for a homeowner to just do a minor renovation to one piece of their home. Well, this one's a basement and not everyone is gonna come in and scrape every countertop and do all the flooring in a house, rearrange walls and things like that. When you have a basement, you have an enclosed space that you can work within. So I'm excited to get down there and see what this homeowner did in partnership with Creek Stone Design and Remodel. So we actually have John May, he's the president of Creek Stone Design and Remodel, yep. and you did this project. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, sure, this was the kind of classic situation that we're looking at where a family has space underneath the house that they want to better use instead of doing like an addition. And they got a kiddo that they got to get into a room. So that's what we kind of looked at here was how to help them out with that, but balance against budget. Right, and you said that a lot of your clients are concerned about the value they're yeah. getting out of right. the remodel. Yeah, so everybody's always, first question, how much is it going to cost? Mm -hmm. Right, we get these dreams, but how much does it cost? So what we found, we talked with you guys and our industries kind of create an annual report every year that shows what it costs to do a remodel in Portland, but also gives you what the resale value is. And so I think for people, that's super important and saying, well, what's the market value? So that they know that they're not getting quoted too high or too low. So what did you think on that? Uh, well, it's around 500 square feet and it costs between like 80 and 95 K to do. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's a big investment, but look at the functionality they're getting out of this space down here. It's pretty phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that was an interesting one. Drew, what did you think? It was. It wasn't a huge remodel. Mm -hmm. uh, what they did is they needed a little more space. I thought the builder did a good job of matching the space that they already had with right. with the new addition. You couldn't tell from the street. You wouldn't look at it and say, oh, this has been this is where it was added on to. Right. You know, small model, it was fun. I thought they did a good job adding a lot of natural light with the windows. The Definitely a unique remodel. A new unique remodel. Now this is definitely a backyard I could hang out in. <laughs> I'm sleeping. So what we have here is we've got a bifolding glass door. So this wow. is a new product. It came out in January. And we had an issue here where they had this extra deep tub. Mm -hmm. And it's extra wide. They wanted to have two people be able to have a nice bath. Okay. But if you do a regular slider, the glass is either on one side or the other. And if we tried to just do double doors, it was way too big for right. this room. So we um, came up with this solution, the bifolding door. So cool. I'm really <laughs> struck by the way that they've used these small spaces mm -hmm. and been able to take things like this and really utilize it. This house in particular, that's definitely what Brian Schmidt is trying to show, is that you don't have to have a giant space to be able to put really updated products and an updated look. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can bling out your own space no matter how big it is. I love that. <laughs> we really, every, every inch mattered in the house and you can tell like down to the garage mm -hmm. doors, down to the cabinetry. So it was how do we make the most, whether it's removing walls, um, unifying flooring surfaces, taking advantage of the outdoor living spaces. We're here with Brian Schmidt. He is the builder and he's also the owner of this home. So this is actually where his family lives. This is a beautiful home. You've done a great uh, thank job. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the, everybody comments on the before pictures and you <laughs> see like what they are, it's like how, you know, how did this look like that before? But it shows that you can do it with any house. Well, Megan, we're so excited to have you as part of our team. And thank you for joining me on this tour of remodeled homes today. It's been really fun, you know, getting back here into Portland and driving these roads again, seeing some familiar houses, really cool. And also it was interesting for me to see the different range that you can do in a remodel from just a basement to an entire house. If you have the vision, you can really transform a space. There's so many talented and artistic individuals in the building mm -hmm. trades that if you enlist some of these folks that we've uh, connected with today, you can really 
make an amazing product on the back end. And also add so much value. A ton of value, yeah, and, you, and that's value that you can live with and enjoy, as well as having it appreciate with the rest of the property. It's been a fun day. Yes, thank you for joining me, and thank you all for joining us on this tour of Remodeled Homes.